Hello, folks. It's uh, me. Whoops. I did a super zoom on you. It's uh, me, me, your own Darren again. This is still the same day. First video here. We've been just chatting for a couple of hours about stuff. Darren's doing actually really good. Um, we've been letting him hang around with us. He's been getting a lot more comfortable, even to the point, and this is good because I waited, you know, a, a day not to jump the gun even to the point where he's actually been asking for attention and affection, which is key with, with any dog establishing the, the right relationship, because you don't want to smother them. You do kind of want to wait till they're asking for it. And then even then, if you want to set the pace off right about who's going to be kind of, um, who's going to be set, you know, setting the pace and, you know, and, and leading them through this life, is uh, what, one of the first things we really do is just don't give the dog affection until one, you can tell that they actually want it. And then two, we do it on, 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 our, on our call. So he's, he's looking for it, but he doesn't get it. But what I do is I then, now that I know that he wants it, I'll make sure it's me that the one that's actually initiated it. Darren, good boy, good boy. See, now I'll give him the affection, right? I think I'm still on camera. And then good boy, I do a 10 second roll. Which is after about less, you know, less than ten seconds. That's really it. I want to keep him wanting it, so he, you know, so he appreciates it. This is going to be our most uh, powerful reward in training. Is actually our, our touch and our approval, and he's going to be he's going to be working for it. But what we're going to do right now, because it is his feeding time, is um, one of his major issues that he was having at the shelter is he does have he does protect his food bowl. He is a resource guarder. So it's something that we have to work on to make him successful. Now, things about aggressive dogs is usually the most aggressive dogs you find are the most fearful dogs. Um, so essentially, even food ball aggression, it is fear related. How is it fear related? He is fearful that people want to steal his food. Um, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to, you know, this is going to be the first time you know, that we're going to, you know, feed him in front of us. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the ball in the far corner. We're going to drop the leash and let him eat. And what me and Earl are going to do is we're just going to act completely indifferent to the whole thing. Like, we don't even really care. And then when he's done, we're not even going to go buy the food bowl either. We're going to act like we don't even really know it's there. And, you know, and once he's kind of comfortable and comes back to us, um, you know, the day just, you know, day is just going to go on as usual. We're not going to stick a rubber hand in there, you know, um, just like I don't stick a rubber hand in, in Earl's, you know, food when he, when he's eating his food. He doesn't stick a rubber hand in my food. There's no need to really do it to him. If anything, that's just going to, you know, show to him, you know, oh yeah, I should be protective of my food bowl because people are going to, you know, people like to stick rubber hands in there. <laughs> and, and, and uh, yeah, and poke, poke and prod and do whatever. So what I'm going to do is Earl's got Darren, and we're going to show him that we got, we got the food. Look <gasps> what we got. That's what you've been waiting for. We're going to put it in the far corner. Right. Put it in the far corner of the room where he can eat it by himself and not be bothered. And then what's going to happen is, let me see, I'll put the camera so you can, we could get us all here. And that's it. And Earl could release, release the, uh, if I lose it, so over there, release the leash. So he's eating. We don't really care, right? Do you like dog food, Earl? No, no. I'm really interested. In yeah, that. me, me neither. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pasta kind of, kind of guy, right? But does Darren know that? <laughs> no, probably, probably not. All right. Do you want to lick his bowl clean when, when, when he's done? Nope. Nope. Me neither. All right. I don't like to lick dogs' bowls clean either. So we're never going to give him that idea that we want it. And and. You know, at this stage of training too, not only, you know, we're not going to go over there and mess with him, even when he's done, we're not even going to act like we want anything to do with the actual ball. All right, so we set off, we set off the pace right with him, um, so he knows he doesn't have to, 
he doesn't really have to have to worry about the whole bowl thing. It, I mean, it really is a good idea, um, even when caring for you know a shelter dog or a rescue dog, even if we were boarding a dog that has resource guarding, is I don't like the dogs even to see me pick up their ball. You know, we take the ball after they're out of the at when they're after they're out of their their you know their, their kennel. We'll stash them somewhere else and then we'll go grab the ball uh, um, afterwards. Um, the more they learn, you know, the more that we show them we don't want the ball, it actually make, makes the problem um, less and less and easier to manage when we do when we do for further training. So, um, oh, what was that? Did you like that? Huh? Are we going to come and want some, some affection again? Now again, Earl is in the bite suit, not because he likes to look cool, but because this is his first day um, with Darren. So it actually is just to protect him in case, you know, he makes, he moves a little too quick, makes Darren feel uncomfortable. Um, and also, by the new handler being feeling comfortable and protected, they're actually less hesitant. Um, which makes it easier for the, you know, for, for the dog. Because when we're not protected and we're tentative, it makes the dogs nervous too. So when we, when we cover ourselves, it's, it makes the dogs more successful as well. Here's my phone. I gotta see how my kid did the first day on the bus. So, um, so I hope everyone understood through my stuttering and um, we'll, job, we'll keep you updated. Good job, Darren. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that face. Handsome boy. Yeah, look at that. That's the face of the most... Uh, uh, that, that's that's what uh, the face, the real face of, of a vicious dog right there. All right. <laughs>